Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 25th. We are still very much in the full moon energy, so keep that in mind. Now, not every reading is for you, so keep that in mind as well. Um, these dailies can play out in the next few days at any time. So what do we have for a message today? I have opened uh, a few more slots for private readings. What do we have for a message today? Three of Cups. Three of Cups is celebrating, socializing, getting together, having fun. Tower. Tower is a shock. So we have a shock. We have a surprise. We have somebody who's out having fun. They're in for a big surprise. Massive disruption. This is like... It is. I mean, that is a massive disruption right there. It's out having fun and then boom. So be careful if you're out socializing, you're partying. This is partying. You know, this could also, this doesn't have to be out, out and about. It could be, you know, socializing on social, social media and there's some sort of disturbance. Okay. Uh, this is a major disturbance. There could be a third party situation here, you know, where something has been hidden and it comes to light. Major disruption. This is things crashing, crumbling down. King of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed is insincere, not very wise, not very intelligent, not very smart or corrupt, doesn't care. Knight of Pentacles reversed on the bottom. That is irresponsible, not practical, lazy unplanned something is gonna happen that <sighs> throws you off throws it's a it's it's definitely gonna be a shock there is an individual here that is corrupt they're unstable could be mentally unstable with the king of swords reversed and the knight of pentacles reversed that is like mentally unstable um Somebody is in for a big surprise. They are. Page of Cups reversed. Wow, this is a bubble burst. Somebody's, there's a burst here. Somebody's about to get their bubble burst. They're out having fun. They're socializing. Whatever they're doing, their, their bubble is about to be burst. Absolutely. Uh-huh. There's a lack of clarity here with this with, with the King of Swords reverse. Some somebody may be having their heart set on somebody that is not emotionally available. Their heart is very, very set on a situation that is false, it's a false sense of security, their heart is set on it. They're about to get a, a rude awakening, a very rude awakening.
or there's going to be a rejection here or the sad news, unfortunately, with the Page of Cups reversed. That's not good news. Seven of Swords. There's cheating here. Three of Cups, Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords. This is getting caught. Somebody getting caught doing something. It doesn't have to be cheating. If whatever they've cheated on or whatever they've done, they've done something shady. They've done something sneaky. Uh, there's falseness. There's lies with the tower. Things are about to be revealed. The tower is a necessary evil. It's when the universe, because the tower is a universe card, the universe comes in to cause a massive change because there's so much falseness. It's it's a false sense of security. Somebody hasn't been uh, honoring the truth. They haven't been telling the truth with the King of Swords reverse. That's somebody that is dishonest, you know. And there's disloyalty as well with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. There's somebody here that is dishonest. They're disloyal. They're not stable. They're not solid. They don't accept responsibility. This is somebody that uh, lacks integrity, isn't very wise, unfortunately. Not emotionally available. or This is not uh, emotionally fulfilling. That Somebody's about to get their bubble burst. A foundation, whatever this foundation is, it could be at work, could be at home, could even be, uh, the tower is any type of foundation that you are in in a, a regular basis. So it could be the home, it could be the work, it could be your body. Okay, somebody's foundation is about to explode. There's going to be some sort of major disturbance in that foundation, and it's gonna it's gonna be. Uh, emotional with the page of cups reverse it's it could there could be some tears that are shed they could be dealing with a person that is saying some really mean things or they're doing something really mean with the king of swords reverse this is abuse mental abuse verbal abuse uh physical abuse any kind of abuse there's there's some sort of abuse here could be an abuse of power because the king of swords is holding the sword which is the sword of power could be an abuse of power somebody has abused their power now we got the knight of pentacles again on re in reverse on the bottom a minute ago we had the seven of swords this knight of pentacles in reverse is is pretty uh prominent here something is coming to a stop it is something is going to come to a stop there's going to be a major disruption Somebody may get some news that they don't want to hear. Could be from a sibling, could be from a child. Um, there could be an upcoming get together as well. Hmm. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is somebody that is very romantic, very charming, that is looking for love, That and it's right next to the Three of Cups. We have somebody, and it's emotional. It could also be a support. There could be some sort of emotional support here. Somebody is probably receiving an offer of love, but it's false. We got the Three of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Tower. So somebody is receiving or they're wanting or they're looking for a relationship with somebody that... I don't know if this person is already in a, fa a relationship, you know? Could be. Page of Cups is an offer of love. Somebody may also be getting an offer of love that absolutely shocks them. Okay. We definitely have somebody here that is sad. They are they are sad. They're not in a good place mentally. Their heart may be broken. We may have somebody here that is heartbroken. They may be angry. They may be bitter. They may cause a disturbance. They could they could. They they could cause some sort of disturbance because they've been rejected. They were looking for a relationship. They've been socializing with somebody. They're feeling rejected. They're feeling heartbroken. They could cause a major uproar. So be careful for that. We may have somebody here that has been rejected that is uh, 
reacting they are reacting to their pain and their their you know the tower is a massive disruption explosion could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, quite a bit. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's, there's looking for love. There's lies, there's falseness. There's a major disturbance. Somebody may have been thinking they were going to get together with somebody and they get some bad news. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is a new start in love right next to the Knight of Cups. So there is some sort of shock here. Major surprise. Somebody is about to get a surprise. The king of the king of swords could also be somebody that was cold. This person was very cold. They were uh, using their head over their heart, and now it's in reverse. That means they're using their heart. They were they were not emotionally available before. They weren't looking for love. They weren't communicating. They weren't open. They were literally emotionally unavailable. Now they're opening their heart. Somebody may be opening heart, their heart. They could there could be some sort of uh, new. There could be a get together here. Uh, socialize. Somebody may receive a message that surprises them. This could be a positive tower. This could be. This is an absolute sh shock. The Ace of Cups is a new start in love. It is. I mean, look at it. It's bright. It's beautiful. That is like illuminating love. It really is. If you take a look at that, you know. This is a new beginning in love. Right next to the Knight of Cups. Somebody is going to be receiving an offer from an individual that... From an individual that may have not opened their heart in the past. You know, next to that King of Swords. Um... Or they're receiving some sort of offer that shocks them, whether it's a love offer or not. This is a complete shock, okay? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh! The King of Pentacles on the bottom. So this is a this is a match. This is a match. It's a perfect match. This is this is a this is, these two people belong together. Okay, they belong together. The King and Queen of Pentacles. Somebody is about to receive an offer. This is a perfect match. These two people have a lot in common. They both have the Queen of. They both have an Ace of Pentacles in their hands. Somebody, this is this is this is somebody that is a planner that is very wise, that is stable and solid and uh, hardworking. This person has worked hard all their life. There is somebody here that has worked hard all their life, and they're looking for their perfect match. And I feel like they've found them, but they haven't been communicating because they've been in their head. There could be a reunion with the Three of Cups. <laughs> that could definitely be a reunion. With this Queen of Pentacles, she's she's hardworking. She's devoted. She's a domestic goddess. She's a... Uh, did I say that? Domestic... That's the Empress. Sorry. But she's very domestic. She takes care of the home. She's down to earth. Um, the Queen of Pentacles... She just sitting there waiting, holding on to her value, holding on to her offer, holding on to her her stability. So we have we have a very we have two people here that are both very, very hard working. Grounded, capable, successful.
These two people are coming together. They are coming together. Queen of Pentacles, she has she has something in her hands of value. She has something of value and, and this person sees it. And has something of value as well. We have two people that have a lot to offer that are going to be working together. They could be falling in love with each other. This is a complete surprise. It is a complete shock. They may have met on social media or they may have met out on a date or people go out on dates all the time, but they may have met. They're socializing at a get to. They could have met through a friend as well. This is having fun, getting together, expressing feelings. Somebody is going to be acting on their feelings, expressing their feelings. This is somebody who plans it, doesn't just jump. This is not a jumper. This is not, this is somebody that takes their time. This is a hard, hard, hard worker, very wise individual that wants somebody that is solid and stable and grounded and hardworking, okay? We definitely have a solid offer that is coming. This is something real, it is big, it is huge. This person, it looks like he is very content that he knows what he wants and he is about to give it to somebody. He's about to give an opportunity to somebody that also has, it's like equal. This is an equal opportunity. You know, I'm not saying that right. Where, where there's a equal playing field, you know? I feel like these two people that are coming together, um, both are both very stable, financially stable. And I know not everybody is, but and it could just be secure with themselves. Okay, it could be there's security here. Both of these people are very secure. They're very loyal. They're very stable. They both know their value. They've both worked hard. They've, they have. Somebody may have also rejected an individual that was abusive. They have been, they've learned their self value. They've learned their self worth. And there's somebody coming in. There is somebody that is, is coming in. This is a romantic. This is somebody that is very loving. This is somebody that is looking for a relationship that is real. This is somebody that is stable, solid, secure. They're looking for love. Um, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's going to be a celebration. There's going to be a get together. Somebody may be going out. They may be going out on a date. I mentioned it. They may be going out for dinner. They may be going out for drinks. They're, they're going to be getting together with somebody and having some fun. And they're going to be meeting or they're getting together with this person. If they haven't met them yet, they're going to be meeting somebody. If they haven't met them yet, this is a perfect, perfect, perfect match. It absolutely is. They may have met them already. These, the King and Queen of Pentacles build foundations. They build strong foundations. They take their time. They don't move fast. This is a slow going situation. I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be building a new foundation after they have been in a false sense of security with an abusive individual who rejected them. Could be falling in love or starting a new, starting a new, it is definitely a new, new beginning with the Ace of Cups. It's a new start in love. This is emotionally fulfilling. It's like falling in love, uh, something like that. But 
It's building a new foundation that is going to be extremely stable with the King and Queen of Pentacles. This is, a, this is as stable as it can get. We have a very clever, cunning individual that has worked hard all their life and has been waiting for their perfect match. And I feel like they're either meeting them or they have met them and they are about to build a strong foundation together. It is time to celebrate. It definitely is. This Queen of Pentacles is leaving behind because the King of Swords is behind her in reverse, is leaving behind an abusive individual who there were where there was unrequited love, where there and I think that person that that neglected, that abused is about to about to get a rude awakening. They may they may want, you know, they may have thought this person was gonna wait forever. Huh? No, no. Somebody's about to get a huge rude awakening. Perhaps the person that they are abused is falling in love with somebody new. And there could be definitely be a rejection here. We could have somebody that is expressing their feelings to an individual that has found the one. Five of Swords reversed. Five of Swords reversed is uh, admitting defeat. Something could definitely be coming back around. There has been abuse. Somebody may be choosing, you know, I, do, I don't, I don't want to, I just want to be happy. I, I just want to be happy now. I, I, I don't, it's not, a, I don't have nothing left to prove. I, I just want to be happy. This person was in a place where, you know, they were pushing people away for some reason. Now they just want happiness. They want a relationship. They want love. Five of swords reversed. Right next to the page of, or knight of cups. I feel like somebody has left and they may want a reunion, but I feel, yeah, that's what I got here. Somebody has left or they hurt another person and it doesn't have to be love. It does. It could be a family member. Somebody wants a reunion. They do want a reunion after they betrayed another person. They belittled them. They hurt them, whatever. I, it may be too late. Might not be. We definitely have somebody that is going to be expressing their feelings. Whether this is new love or a reconciliation could be either one. It could be either one. Eight of Wands, that is messages going back and forth. More increase, an increase of communication. So there's going to be an increase of communication. Things are going to speed up. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings. They may have had a major disruption on their home front. They may have had a major, something may have ended with that tower card. Maybe they couldn't express their feelings. You know, the, somebody is definitely coming forward. They're looking for a relationship. They're looking for love. They're looking for emotional fulfillment. And they're about to increase their communication. They're about to speed things up. They want to get together. Somebody could get an invite with that night of uh, cups. They may get an offer, an invite, you know, maybe to go out on a date or go somewhere to get together, go out, whatever. Uh, this queen of pentacles is somebody of value. She's the queen of value. And things are gonna speed up. There's going to be some increased communication. It's gonna be a surprise. This is a surprise. Surprise! I'm back! For somebody, not everybody, but... 
or it could be new love. The Ace of Cups can be new love. It can also be a reconciliation, but it, it, whatever it is, behind that Ace of Cups is a tower. That is a surprise, okay? It's gonna be a surprise. Ace of Swords. That is communication. It is an awakening. It's a wake-up call. It is the truth. It is uh, communicating right next to the Eight of Wands. Somebody may have gotten some sort of a wake-up call. They may have woken up. They may have, they're going to be communicating. There's going to be increased communication with somebody that really is looking for love. This is somebody that is real, that is solid, that is hardworking, that has a lot to offer. And they are looking at another person that has a lot to offer as well. They may have been in a false sense of security that has now crashed. It has now crumbled. They have been thrown out or somebody has left or whatever the case is. I feel now they are free to express and they're going to express and they're looking for some sort of relationship. There is healing here. The three of swords reversed. This is on the path to recovery. This is a healing energy. This is um, a healing love healing a connection somebody may have hurt another person really really badly there could be an apology here don't get your hopes up especially if you're dealing with a narcissist narcissists will never apologize um you do we do have some sort of new beginning here with the ace of cups and the ace of swords this is taking a new approach communicating, opening up, following the heart after being cold. So I do feel like we have somebody here that pushed somebody away. They pushed somebody away maybe because they were in some sort of false sense of security that needed to end first. There's going to be an upcoming get there's good news that is coming. There is it's going to be a surprise as far as I'm concerned. Um, I think we have two people that are bound together, okay? We got this devil on the bottom. There's a strong bond there, okay? That's a strong bond. It, it really is, okay? The devil card is a strong, strong bond. Um, it's also a lot more. <laughs> it is a lot more. I feel like there we have somebody here that is uh, tied to another person, and I don't think it's over. I don't, or, or they're going to be connecting with this person. They're going to be very, very tempted. There's a strong sexual attraction to this person. I mean, even if it's a love at first sight, there's going to be a strong pull. There is going to be a strong pull. Um, I feel like we have an individual that is just wants love. They just want a relationship. And they got somebody that uh, can give them that, can give them stability. And they haven't really been communicating. And I feel like there's going to be a change in communication. And I feel like this person was probably in some sort of toxic situation where it was very unhealthy. And there's been some sort of major disruption in that foundation. They may have gotten in some sort of fight with whoever they were with, and they may have left with the Five of Swords reversed. And it could, doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a family member. I do see definitely a major disturbance here. Anyway, time's about to run out, so I got to let you go. I feel like, and maybe because there's other options, this person is, is making an approach. Anyhow... Um, I feel like there's going to be an expression of feelings and an increased communication from an individual who really wants a relationship or they want love or they want a reconciliation, whether it's a family member or, you know, a lover, there's going to be some sort of increased communication because we got somebody here that, uh, wants happiness. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't, they just want love. They just want a relationship and it, you're, somebody's going to receive a message that really surprises them. Good luck.